Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, long story short, yesterday the Lent was officially over and my boyfriend gave up smoking and drinking. Um, so we decided to celebrate that with drinking only, not smoking. But, um, so I didn't want to, so my plan was to get him pretty tipsy, but not like to a point where like he doesn't remember the night. But, you know, like my goal was to get him pretty tipsy more than me. But I ended up drinking so much more, but it's not a lot. I just have really low tolerance. So I got pretty drunk and I ended up throwing up and I was hungover this morning. So I decided to make a hungover soup. I'm going to add some diced up radish. And next I'm just going to add a half tablespoon of soybean paste. Just like that much, not a lot. I'm going to add about another half tablespoon to one tablespoon of just the regular spicy pepper paste. Like about that much, that's good. And then I'm going to add a little, just a tiny bit of soy sauce, maybe like a, um, another spoon of soy sauce. Okay, so once it starts to boil a little bit, I am finally going to add some crab. I already cleaned them, I took them apart, so I took them apart, cleaned the inside. Cut up the edges and all that. I didn't want to do it over in front of a camera because I don't know, it just. I mean, like, it's okay me doing it, but I, like, personally, don't like to watch it myself for as an. I don't know. Like, I watch videos of how to clean crabs or how to, like, you know, handle crabs just for. Um, just for me to know how to do it. But I don't think I could just watch it normally. I don't know, it's kind of. Sad. So I'm gonna leave them in here like that. I know that people can see this as a hypocritical thing because I'm eating it and I'm enjoying it. So, but I don't know. I just I'm not saying I'm against eating crab, but it's just I can't watch, especially when it's live and they're handling it. Like I don't know. I just can't watch that. Like I can do it, but I don't think I keep continuously watching it over and over on different people's channel and all that. So after that, I'm going to add zucchini or squash. Mmm, this looks so good. Okay, I'm going to flip them over to cook them evenly. Actually, that's another reason why I didn't eat fish for the longest time because, like, I don't get me wrong, I love sashimi, I love raw fish, but sometimes it's like it's not the it's not the taste. But when I was growing up, I always saw I always saw my mom, you know, handling fish, and whenever she bought it, it comes with their face, their head, and their eyes are always open. And it's just, I don't know, it bothered me so much, like they were looking at me and they scared the crap out of me and I just did not want to eat fish. I'm like, this is just, I don't know, I don't know if it was gross, I don't know if it was sad, it's a mix of everything and I just didn't like that. So I didn't eat fish for a long time. Right now I kind of got over it because, um, I, I don't know, I guess I kind of got over it as I grew up, but when I was young, you know, it's like being a kid thing. I'm just going to add one more tablespoon of soy sauce. It's a little too blend for me right now. Okay. And then, I'm going to add a tablespoon of 
crushed red peppers. I like it spicy, so maybe another tablespoon. <laughs> Yum. Okay, perfect. Oh my god, it's spicy. So with the, um, you know, the, pep the crushed peppers or fine red pepper powder, you know, you could adjust it because I think the main purpose of this is how spicy you want your soup. And it gives good color. So. Okay, so it seems like they're like almost done. So I'm going to add some hot peppers, actually. So I'm going to add some bean sprouts. Going to add some enoki mushrooms, yum, and some. I think this is it's called daisy crown or crown daisy, something like that, right? So I personally don't like the flavor, but like I don't I don't mind it in my soup. But I think once I eat it, it just like I really don't like it. But I don't mind it in the soup. Going to add that. Then finally, I'm going to add for more spice. I'm going to add. Um, peppers or serrano peppers precisely. I'm going to add that on top and cover up if it fits. Okay, good. So the thing about bean sprouts is that if you don't cook them properly, they can kind of release that really fishy, like stinky smell or fishy smell. Or so I heard. So it's either you cook it with the lid off or with the lid on. You have to pick one or the other. You can't do like keep opening and closing it to check if it's cooked or not. Okay, while I'm waiting, let's answer some questions. Oh, by the way, I'm still giving a couple more days until I close the giveaway. Um, I wanted to give at least a week so everyone has like the same chance to comment and all that. So just be a little patient with me and I'll, it'll, and I'll make sure to let you guys know when the giveaway closes or when it's about to close. I actually heard a lot of um, questions about me coming to America from Korea. Um, I and Many people think I'm in Korea right now but I'm actually in the States. I've been here ever since 1999. So how long is that? Like 6, 15, 16 years? 17 years? That's 17 years? Oh my gosh. So yeah, I've been here since 99 and I don't know. Growing up in you, I think my translation from Korea to America wasn't as bad just because I came at a young age. You know, I was, uh, I was only 9 years old and honestly it wasn't that difficult for me but I'm sure it would have been harder if I came during like high school or college but um yeah I think I just did pretty well yeah I think I just did pretty well um I don't know I think like the only barrier I had was you know language but other than that it wasn't you know I hung out I got along with everyone I don't think I ever had that um feeling left out or people made fun of me or anything like that if they did I probably didn't know but um, yeah, I think it was pretty smooth. Um, I did take some um, the second English as second language or ESL classes. Alright, I think this is done.
かなクラブは私の好きなシーフード。私はシーフードとクラブとマッシュルー。crab. Oh my gosh, look at all the egg. Oh my. I don't know, does anyone like this? I put 
bit of my rice. So I guess the best way to eat this is to just kind of bite onto it and kind of squeeze it out. I think that's the best way. Because they're too little, too small to kind of like take it apart and then eat it like snow crab or king crab. I think the way I made it today can be a little bland to people. So you could add, definitely add more um, soybean paste or soy sauce. Because that is perfect for me, honestly. Because I don't want it too salty. Absolutely no meat. What the? This one has no meat. Okay. Oh my. Oh my god, this one has so much meat.
I actually have some leftover pumpkin soup from the other night. A lot of people ask me why I cook in my room instead of my kitchen. Well, I do have a kitchen, my mom's kitchen, but um, I don't know. I like cooking in here. And it's easier for me just because um, I have like my camera and everything set up in this room. And I'm not gonna keep, you know, setting it out in the kitchen because my mom's always in there so it's convenient for me and even when i move move out eventually hopefully soon i'm still not gonna cook in my kitchen i'm gonna have a separate room just for filming so um i actually don't really want to talk about like the worst um pickup lines that I heard to me, like, you know, people said to me, and one of them was when I was working out, like, I finished working out, and I was stretching, and this guy comes up to me, and he goes, hey, um, my friend here, like, I guess his friend was somewhere else, but he's like, my friend really thinks you're cute, like, he was wondering if you can have your number. First of all, your friend is interested, yet you come up to me to get my number. Like, what the heck? Like, no. That was like the worst way, and it clearly, like, he, like, it wasn't his friend, it was him. Cause that was like a big turn off for me, I was like, that's a no-no. <laughs> I was another, oh my god, it was so funny. I was at a, like a school cafeteria, like a college cafeteria. Or, it's not cafeteria, it was a food court. A food court. And I was eating by myself because I had like 30 minutes before class. And this kind of scrawny old, not old, like he was clearly older than me, but you know, still a college student. He approaches me and he's like, hey, I think you're cute. Do you think I'm cute too? I'm like, what? No. But yeah, he just kept talking to me. I was like, no, I was talking back. And then he, I never told his name, but he told me his name. And I remembered it. And, you know, I came home at the night. I w so I came back home after, you know, a long day. And that's when I was living with my sister. And I, I asked my sister, hey, do you know this guy named blah, blah, blah? Because he actually told me, like, he's birthday, his age, and that's the same age as my sister. So I asked, I asked her if he knows this guy by any chance. Because, you know, I was telling her about the story of what happened to me during the day. And she's like, yeah, I know him. I'm like, oh, do you have a picture of him? So she found him on Facebook and it was him. And yeah, my sister told me how weird that guy was. And what's another one I have? <sighs> okay, this is, I guess this is like not the worst. As in it's a bad pickup, but it's worse because he used it on a bunch of other people. So I met this guy. He was like six one, six two, and a tall. He was like, you know, he was buff and all that. And he was, he really knew how to talk to girls. And I didn't know that. So we were talking, like we, the day we met, you know, I, he invited me to his like party and I went and we we're just talking and all. And then he got really like sweet, like with his words. And then he like looked into my eyes and he said, Oh my god, you're so good. Like, I really like the type of a girl that I want to introduce to my parents. I'm like, oh, like, who, what kind of girl would have fall for that? So I was like, wow, this guy really likes me. Like, he's so sweet. And I realized, I heard, so he, after me and him had like a thing, we never dated. Um, he dated like two other girls that I knew, actually. And I heard that he said the exactly same thing. I don't know, I was kind of like pissed off when I heard that. I was like, whatever, I thought I was special, but clearly I wasn't, but, but. Anyways, I'm not gonna end the video here. <laughs> I've been recording for over an hour, so. Yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this recipe. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! I'm just going to add some diced up radish. Honestly, I don't think you can go, go wrong with this. Look, my hair looks like